Greetings, safe guardians. I am Christopher Ramos, the immediate past program manager for DNN R&D's Safeguards Portfolio. This year, I will be turning the portfolio over to Dr. Julie Gostick. I am Julie Gostick, the new Safeguards Program Manager. This is my first INMM meeting, and it's a privilege to be virtually here with you today. We are assisted by Dr. Warnick Kernan, who is the technical advisor for the portfolio. Before we highlight the dynamic work occurring in our portfolio, we would like to give you a little more background on how the R&D office supports the NNSA DNN strategic vision, which is to prevent, counter, and respond to global nuclear threats. The DNN R&D mission is to drive innovative research to reduce nuclear proliferation threats and enhance operational effectiveness for detecting and monitoring foreign nuclear fuel cycle and weapons development activities, special nuclear material movement or diversion, and last but certainly not least, nuclear explosions. NNSA DNN R&D leverages the unique scientific and technical capabilities at the national laboratories and in partnership with industry and academia to meet present and future nonproliferation challenges. Within the Office of Defense Nuclear Nonproliferation Research and Development is the Office of Proliferation Detection. And within the Office of Proliferation Detection is the International Safeguards Basic Research and Development Portfolio. The office goals include development of technical capabilities to detect, prevent, counter, and respond to nuclear security threats by investing in research and development at the DOE National Laboratories sites and plants. The Safeguards vision is unobtrusive surveillance with instantaneous accountability the intent of which is documented and communicated in the Goals, Objectives, and Requirements document and the R&D Strategic Roadmap. The R&D Investment Scope is focused on low technology readiness level projects, enabling the next generation of technical tools for future safeguards assurance. Current safeguards verification activities place significant demands on both inspectors and the facilities being inspected. For safeguards assurance, inspectors of nuclear facilities must gather and process information from disparate data sources to verify material and activities declarations. For operational efficiency, facilities need to limit the downtime associated with these inspections. Automating certain verification tasks especially those involving high radiation areas or long duration observations can alleviate time pressures on inspectors and allow them to focus on higher level inspection issues. Additionally, automation has a clear and present role in monitoring advanced fuel cycle technologies, which are adding to the complexity of the modern safeguards requirements. International nuclear safeguards verification activities can be challenging. How do we address those challenges as a community? At the 2019 INMM Just Trust Me workshop for Safeguards Information Systems, the concept that gained the greatest general support was for an artificial intelligence-enabled smart digital assistant, a concept that brings together artificial intelligence and robotic systems. The SDA was dubbed INSPECTA. International Nuclear Safeguards Personal Examination and Containment Tracking Assistant. DNN R&D invested in this concept to help answer the following questions. Are there things we can do to help make inspections less challenging? Is there new technology that can be applied to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of this process? So what is INSPECTA? It's similar in function to the interactive assistants on a smartphone, like Alexa or Siri, helping with basic functions like note-taking, location, timers, etc., utilizing natural language processing and speech synthesis for verbally communicating with inspectors. At this level, it provides a hands-free technology for the inspector, reducing ergonomic or physical demands, and allowing the inspector to fully focus on the environmental surroundings and interactions. Additionally, INSPECTA can augment safeguard-specific tasks. In 2021, a scoping study was conducted to 
to identify the five most common repetitive error-prone tasks associated with verification inspections based on IAEA publications and interviews with operational safeguards subject matter experts, including former inspectors. SEAL examination was identified as a strong candidate for augmented assistance, and the prototype development efforts will be presented in more detail in the team's talk. The envisioned technical capabilities of Inspecta include indoor navigation, robotic platforms, optical character recognition, anomaly detection, object identification, and information recall speech synthesis and voice to text. The ease of use and inherent level of trust and adaptability for a diverse network of users and facilities must also be considered. To this end, the office is also funding Sandia National Laboratories in a multi-year study entitled Trust Factors for Safeguards Auditory User Interface Design to help examine and test trust issues that will affect successful use and adoption of Inspecta. Additional technologies under development in our portfolio include novel detection and modeling techniques to quantify uranium-235 more accurately in low-enriched uranium holdup deposits. Some of the project highlights include the combined gamma and neutron imaging methodologies to quantify 235 holdup with improved accuracy for mass estimates. Additionally, this work introduces a proof of concept for unattended monitoring of the holdup scene. DNN R&D has also invested in enhanced tracking of nuclear material, improving detectability of illicitly produced ATU in fuel cycle operations. The OPA project computationally assessed the efficacy of 232 uranium as an additive in new sources of uranium fuels. This isotope persists through the nuclear fuel cycle and preferentially follows uranium-235 during enrichment. The end growth of the 208 thallium progeny increases the chances of detection via gamma emissions, which quickly build back in after chemical purification processes. This project evaluates non-destructive assay techniques for emergent thorium fuel cycles based on neutron resonance transmission analysis, or NRTA, and gamma-gamma coincidence that can assay both uranium-233 and 235 when in a sample with nominal concentrations of uranium-232. The figure to the left is the enhanced NRTA setup, and the figure on the right shows the relationship between neutron energy and time of flight using the neutron source at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Current plans for underground waste repositories do not include any active monitoring of conditions inside the site after they are closed. Sensing solutions that could actively monitor for abnormal conditions, like accidental or int intentional breaches of the waste casks, are not fully developed. The next three projects focus on the development of automated monitoring tools that help with surveillance of these unique environments. Design challenges include limited power supplies and long-range emplacement of surface controls or consoles. Tripwire applies a surveillance and layers approach using three separate sensors to detect changes in electromagnetic, vibration and strain, and radiation signatures within the repository. Fossils involves the use of communication fibers coupled with a novel alpha particle detector to sense changes in strain and radiation signatures. The goal of this project is a proof of concept demonstration that shows how fiber optics can be used to detect the breach of a cask in real time through strain and radiation monitoring. The Quantum Seal Network project also relies on fiber optics. However, it introduces a novel security measure by monitoring a stream of randomly encoded photons to detect anomalies and signals in the fiber optic channel. In summary, we have briefly covered some of the R&D in our portfolio that supports the vision of unobtrusive surveillance with instantaneous accountability. The suite of technologies presented explore the next generation of tools that could be useful for future domestic and international safeguards. We highly encourage you to read through the papers and listen to the presentations of the scientists and staff for more detailed information about the work mentioned in this presentation. The authors acknowledge the dedicated efforts by the scientific and engineering staff at Argonne, Brookhaven, Idaho, 
Los Alamos, Lawrence Berkeley, Lawrence Livermore, Oak Ridge, Pacific Northwest, Sandia, and Savannah River National Laboratories. Additionally, we acknowledge the dedicated efforts by the scientific and engineering staff of the Pentex Y-12 and Nevada National Nuclear Security Sites. The technology development reported herein is supported by the United States Department of Energy National Nuclear Security Administration Office of Defense Nuclear Nonproliferation Research and Development. <laughs>